Hey guys, Josh here. Um, I just want to do a really quick demonstration of taking the standard sample project that comes with the native iOS uh, mobile SDK and, and modifying it slightly to, to give it a little bit more functionality. If you're new to iOS, the, the goal here is that maybe this will demystify some of the starting code for you. Uh, and this will be a first about three blog posts, I think. So I've just taken a standard uh, native uh, REST API project here and I'm just going to log in. The first thing the application already has code for me to run through the OAuth flow so that I, my application, doesn't need to handle my username and credentials. It's all handled uh, through the OAuth up on logon.salesforce.com. And the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get this list of users and when I click on them we see that we don't actually do anything that doesn't doesn't do anything so let's fix that I want to change the query and I want to add a new page that will show me some detail information uh, when I click into it so we're gonna go into root view controllers is the class that the uh, code will go into after it is done with the login and I'm gonna change this to be uh, this custom object I have dog and to make things a little bit faster, I'm also going to um, use these little code snippets up here. So the next thing we want to do is um, add a function here. Did select row. This is implemented from the table UI table view. Basically says the user clicked on a row on the table. Uh, let's go do something. But you see we have these errors here because we haven't created our dog view controller yet. So let's do a new file. UI view controller subclass. And create this with a zib. Next, create. All right, this is our zib. Uh, if you're not familiar with iOS development, this is basically kind of a WYSIWYG drag and drop. Uh, you can put UI elements in here and then bind them back to your code. Um, as a guy who got to start programming um, in Perl, it was actually pretty foreign to me but I've actually grown to love it. It's a very powerful tool for building out your UIs. So let's get rid of those errors by telling our class here about the other class. We're going to our header. So now we have uh, the hard errors out, but we're still not really telling it what the dog view controller is going to do, um, which is when we click, it's going to grab the object in the array from the records it grabbed, and it's going to send that down to our dog view controller. So in our dog view controller, we're going to give it a header file so that we can assign some labels that we can put on our UI. And then I'm going to change the main code so that it knows how to get the dog object from the root view controller. And then it's going to take that information and it's going to set our labels uh, using the information from the dog. So now all we need to do is go into our zib and actually create our interface. So we're going to create one label here. And we'll just call it dog name just as a placeholder so I can remember which label is which. And put in another one, dog breed. So, you know, it's very nice because I get to drag and drop exactly where I can see. I know exactly how my interface is going to look. And then I'm going to right click, and this is allowing me to rebind it back to actual code. So, here we're going to bind it back to uh, the label for dog name and we're going to bind it back to the label for breed. Now if we go back, we should be able to stop our current load and then compile. And it doesn't have to log me back in, it has an access token and a refresh token to um, authenticate me. And now we have changed the query. We are now, instead of seeing users, we're seeing, uh, we only have one dog in the system right now named Spot. And if I click into this, we can see that Spot is actually a border cog. So a very quick demonstration. Um, this code is going to be going up on GitHub. I'll also have a companion uh, information in the blog post around this. And look forward to a couple uh, video posts like this in the near future. Thanks, everybody, and happy hunting.